Hi, today's video is about minimal makeup for the mature face. Welcome to my channel if you're new and thanks for coming back if you came back. I'm 57 years old. I am here to show you my tips and tricks, how I manage and put makeup and skincare on my mature face. If these are the types of videos that you enjoy, please subscribe, please like, please do all the YouTube things and let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna actually do my brows. Um, I can usually do them off camera because they're just, you know, it's just brows, it takes a bit. But because we're doing this simple makeup for the mature face, I wanna just show you how simple my brow routine is. I'm using the NYX. This is the NYX Brow Glue in clear. Now this comes in tinted shades. I personally don't like a tinted brow glue because then it gets on my skin and I don't like that. Just me. So I'm back and forth in my brow hairs. So I have brow hairs. They're just super thin and sparse. And I've got a little something happening right here and I'm getting um, some hereditary age spots in my eyebrows. My mom has them. And she, so I'm starting to get them through here as well. That's okay. It's, it's okay, it's all good. I just have to work with it, right? And so then, this is the, like a, from the dollar store, these little spoolies. So I take the back of it and I just sort of press them down. So they look, kind of get that laminated look they never stay because even though they're thin they're very like stick out everywhere have this cute little fan from half magic beauty that they sent me a while ago so I'm just drying that so it's going to be dry so there's some people say not to do skincare before they do their brows I personally do my skincare first then I come down so the way my space is set up, I have like my skincare and everything is upstairs. And this this space where I film is in the basement. So I do all my skincare and I put my, like I have mousse in my hair right now. So I do that and then I come to this space and I have my hair dryer, my straightening iron if I want to use it and all my makeup is set up down here. I think they're dry. Next I take a brow pencil. This is from Sephora. This is the Sephora brand brow pencil. And it's the waterproof retractable brow pencil. And the shade is not on here, but it is, it was a new shade. It was like a chark, not like a brown gray. Because just the shade of my hair, obviously is darker gray now with some white. I don't like when my eyebrows are too warm against the color of my hair. What I do now is I'm just sort of giving myself a line, like a shape, to fill in. If you wanna know a quick trick for lifting your eyes is to keep your, instead of keeping your eyebrow like coming down over here, try to keep it up and out. Now it depends, I can do that because of the way my eyebrows are because I have very little hairs in the tail so I can go ahead and kind of make my own shape which I usually which I'm doing but if you see instead of bringing it down I'm bringing it a cr more out that's just a little trick that I have I drew in the other side this is the NYX lift and snatch brow tint pen it's amazing it's got this teeny tiny little so you can draw hair like strokes. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I use this. This is another um, new shade and it is like a, again, a gray black. I'm gonna just draw in and the key, they, the, the trick I've heard is to start drawing in the hairs where you don't have the hairs first and fill in the spaces where there are no hairs first and then go in and fill in the spaces that you need to fill in between where the hairs are not thick enough. Like that. Brows are done. I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox, the original photo finish smooth and blur. I like using a primer on older skin 
have more texture. So I've taken just a little bit on my, and I use my fingers for primer. I keep my primer to where I have the most texture and the, my where my pores are sort of the biggest, which for me is in this area here. So that's where I'm using this primer. The Highlight Glowy Primer, however you want to say it. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I use this underneath my makeup to add glow to the skin. Again, having mature skin, glow will always help because it'll bounce the light away from your face. You have to be strategic with it. You can't, it can't, for me, it does not go all over. I put it on the high points of my face. So I put it here, here, through the middle. I have a lot of my nose there, but and on my chin. And then I'm blending that out with my foundation brush. I always use my foundation brush because then there's always that little wee bit left in the brush that goes with the foundation, which is also good. So I added that glow to my face, just on the spots where I wanted it. This is the uh, L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This is one of my favorite tinted serums. The reason being is the amount of coverage that you get with it, and it's very lightweight. The thing I don't like about it is, watch, when I pull this out, do you see how much is on that, um, on like the dropper? So, because I shake it, right? So it gets all over the dropper, but then I just kind of do this. Put that on my face. Handy dandy foundation brush. This is the brush from BK Beauty. It's sort of a, I suppose you could call it a viral brush. It went viral on, I guess, TikTok or some social media platform. But it's the BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a specifically just a foundation brush. It is very, very, very good. It's dense, but it's really soft. Because it's so soft, it makes it so easy to blend the foundation. Or in this case, the tinted serum. I love the finish of this product. It's very pretty. Next step is concealer. Again, these are the steps that I do in the order that I do them. You're welcome, You obviously you're gonna do anything the way you want, but this is my quick and easy makeup routine. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Madeline. It's a very, it's a pot concealer. So it's got a really, it's a high coverage and it's got a really nice texture. This is a brush. Don't even ask me where I got it. It's so old. <laughs> that I don't even know where I got it from, but I love it for concealer. So I've got a little friend right here. I'm just gonna cover him up. I'm gonna just build up a little bit around my nose where I need a bit more coverage. I've got this little friend here, this age spot, which is fine. I had one over here, it's getting better. I'm gonna do a little bit on this, this guy. Not a lot because it's dry and I don't want to I don't want to put too much on it because if I do then it'll just stand out even more but I'm just putting a little bit here the other place I like to put concealer is in the inner corner this is where the skin is super thin on our face and as we age it gets thinner and thinner and therefore the shades of that are underneath show more. So I try to get some on those right in here inside in the inner part of my nose. For a bit of concealer under the eye, I generally always use my finger. So, but because I can't really get it into this pot, I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush. I don't use a lot of concealer under the eye, Be especially this type of concealer because it is a matte concealer. I just use as little as I have to and I'm going into this area right here not so much higher up but in here where it's actually 
dark. Concealer foundation is done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with this MAC Prep and Prime and I'm gonna spray my face. So that this foundation, that base that I put on is gonna stay put. I'm just gonna use my little fan. Next for me is bronzer. This is the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So the cream is under this little, this is contour, this is bronzer. I'm not a big contour person and that is only because I'm not really skilled at it. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna learn how to do it properly and I'm gonna come back and do a video. In the meantime, I'm gonna do the bronzer, which is the powder. And I've got this, this brush is from Viva La Gentile, it's the number five brush, it's an angled brush. So I'm just going into the bronzer. When I put bronzer on, I put it where I I always use this motion going up cream powder doesn't matter I'm going in an upward motion I don't want it I don't want any shadows to drag my face down and I'm staying to the outer perimeter of my face I have to watch with bronzer because I don't want it to get into my hair because my hair is white in my hairline so I don't want to have like brown roots. This is a pretty bronzer. I really like this one. It's, again, it's a cream contour and powder bronzer combined. He has different shades. Patrick Todd did a really good job with these duos that he has. Here's the quick and easy, another quick and easy part. I'm using the bronzer for my eyeshadow. I am taking the Viva La Gentile brush number one. It's this candle shape brush. And I'm going into that. On the basically on the top of the brush one thing there's not a lot of fallout when you use bronzing powder because of the nature of the, the powder and I'm going to go just here and out just taking that this is my eyeshadow for the day just like that next for the eyes I'm taking my brown, this is a brown liner. I use a brown liner for every day. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade Dimensional Dark Brown. One of the things that I do, I don't tight line. Tight lining is where you take the color and put it all over the inner part of your top lid. So you cover all of this top lid, uh, lid waterline I don't I take my pencil and I go in between my lashes at the very base of my lashes because what I'm wanting to do is make it look like I have those beautiful thick lashes that some people have you know when they have that have that really dark so I'm trying to create the illusion of having thicker lashes. I'm not doing that by tight line. I'm not taking, covering that whole waterline. I'm just getting right into my lashes. This is something that I, and then the inner corner, always to match up. Then this outer corner, a very little bit right here. I can take my nail and pull that out more if I want. And then I get the, I to fix that, got a little bit of extra. Then I get the, the little bit of wing right here and the depth at the lash line. That to me, simple, easy, one step, done. There, both eyes are done with the liner. I'm gonna take this MAC mascara Intense Dimension Mascara. MAC has so many mascaras, but this one is, I'll show you the wand. Wand is very, come on, there it is. Wand is very um, thick, it's interesting. I love this mascara. I use this on the top lashes. So, 
we go in at the lash line and we blink onto the wand. Well, I do. Well, do we? I'm not sure, but this is how I do it. Blinking onto the wand is an art in itself if you're a messy mascara gal. It's a very wet mascara, but it's not clumpy. There, one coat, it's pretty good. Now on my bottom lashes, I use a different mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Interesting. I never saw that before. <laughs> but this wand is very small. Come on, there it is. Very small, very separated. So for my teeny tiny bottom lashes, it's perfect. And I've not ever had it smudge or wear off. Well, wear off. It wears off if you're, you know, if you have a nap or if you cry or whatever. But it doesn't smudge, doesn't transfer, doesn't give you hand eyes. It will be my ride or die mascara for my lower lashes forever. You can use it on your top lashes too, but this for my lower lashes, it's perfection. Now last but not least, I'm going to do the lipstick. And I'm using the, this is a Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Pinch. So it's this pretty corally shade, like peachy coral shade. And the lip liner is also a Vive Modern Lip Definer in the shade Peach. Now, dual purpose. I'm going to use this for lipstick and for blush. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand. Like so. And I'm going to take on my finger. I could have done it right onto my cheek, but I didn't want to. So I didn't. And I'm just adding this little bit of color to my cheek. Need a little bit more. So I'm just going to take it off the bullet onto my finger. I like doing this with lipstick. Some people do it. You can actually put your lipstick on and then use a brush and then pat it in. These lipsticks are very matte, so I just do it. Just this little bit of color. I think taking it right from the bullet with my finger is actually the easiest way. And just tapping that out with my finger. So this is a super pretty color. I'm going to use lip liner first to line my lips. Then I'm going to go in and fill them in with the lipstick. Some people do it opposite. I like to do this first. One side of my mouth is more rounded and the other side is more straight. I don't know if you saw my, I had a, a short that I put up that I, I've had a little bit of lip filler. And mostly to eliminate the, um, like the fine lines around my mouth. On the bottom, in the middle, going underneath right here and then Bringing it in. On the corners. It's hard to get my lips to look even in my in my mind because of the shape. The shape is one side like one side goes straight down, this side goes straight down, and this side is more rounded. All right, lipstick is done. This is a very matte face. I am going to change that by using my KJH brand Hyper Shine Glow Pigment in the shade Light Gold. I'm just swirling this around. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks. This is one of the prettiest highlights that I have. It's from Katie Jane Hughes, who is a celebrity and editorial makeup artist. I'm going to add a little bit to the eye. 
just through the center just to give it a little bit of zhuzh. And the other place I like to add it is on the lip. Just giving myself a little bit, look at this glow. I can't, I can't, look at this glow, it's bananas. Here we go. That is my simple, easy, minimal makeup for mature skin. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications, like the video, do all the YouTube things. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a great day.